You see them everywhere from television to bumper stickers to churches to websites. Mm -hmm. So we have author Jody Harvla here with us to discuss some of those signs and symbols from spirits, what they mean, and as you said, sometimes you need to also be looking for them. You can't yeah, just be sometimes. in your head and expect them to be right there in your face. Yeah, signs and symbols from spirit can be very, very small or very, very sensitive. And, and a lot of people are like, I'm always looking, I'm always looking. I'm like, stop looking. Just allow them to show up for you every once in a while. And signs can be a lot of different things. A lot of people have an expectation of how spirit's going to come through them. And um, I've been doing this work for a long, long time now, and the signs still surprise me. I'm like, oh my God, check that out. Holy cow, did you see that? And usually it's one of those things when you say, man, you just can't make this stuff up. The spirit comes through license plates, and I just had um, <clears throat> a loved one pass away last week, actually, and I was telling my kids that I wasn't going to be at the lake one day because of the service. And all of a sudden I look over, and this loved one, it, it was the husband of a friend of mine, and her name is on the license plate. And I was like, wow. oh, you cannot make that up. So I'm like telling my kid, take a picture, take a picture. I got to send this to the family. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't something that I asked for. It wasn't something that I was expecting. It was something that just unfolded in front of me, which to me are the most fun signs. And so it can be animals. If you see an animal over and over and over and or birds that are really, really loud, look it up online and see what, see what the spiritual meaning is because sometimes it can be... Um, Again, I had a, a loved one pass away one time, and there was these nine turkeys that just kind of came through our yard. And we live in the middle of town, so it's not like we live by the park or anything. And I thought, oh, I'm going to look up turkeys. And turkeys were a uh, symbology of blessings. And this gentleman actually had nine grandkids. And I'm like, oh, he's just talking about his grandkids and what their blessings, you know, that they were blessings. Again, took a picture, sent it to the family. And so signs and symbols can be really, really healing for people after someone that has passed away because it still gives you that proof that they're still there. Mm -hmm. Their bodies aren't there anymore. And, and of course, we have to grieve that piece, and that's a really hard piece. But seeing those signs and symbols, that can be that reassurance that they're still around us. And I think that's a comforting thing for people if they can just be open to it because they can come in lots of different ways. Well, I think that we've talked about that before, but mm -hmm. is that sometimes almost to a problem for people where they're, I just want a sign from this person mm -hmm. that they're still around me so yeah. bad that they kind of miss out on? Sometimes if it's, you know, in, in my experience, um, even like when my husband's mom passed away, of course I was on it. Where's the signs? Like, where are you? Come on, show me, show me, show me. But I also had to honor and respect the grief that I was in. Like, I was sad and I was upset and my kids were upset. My husband was upset. And sometimes I, I feel like the signs are still there, but we're in our grief and we're so desperate and you kind of have to let yourself get out of that desperation a little bit. And then maybe a song will come on or maybe someone will say a word or you might smell their perfume or maybe um, I had another friend that we knew he was going to pass from cancer and so we had set up kind of a code word and I was like all right when I see this word I know it's going to be you and within 24 hours of him passing I saw the word like 40 times and I was like wow. okay okay I got it you know so I think there needs to be a time for the grief piece and then I think you can open up at times and see the gifts and allow those signs to come in again it's an allowance just mm -hmm. to let yourself do what you need to do because sometimes the grief is just the grief and you have to be able to feel that and honor that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. I think we've got to take a commercial break. We'll be back in just a minute with Jody. Thank you.